the values of that. Basically, what that says, or rather, so you have your four subintervals, but rather than using the left endpoint or the right endpoint, you're now going to use. <laughs> Dang, I'm really. <laughs> Are you okay? You, you make me sound like I'm boring or something. Oh, no? Okay, you're excited. Huh, Rob? No worries. I got a good going. <laughs> so, no, no, no. I was just like, it was just funny because she was, obviously. Yeah, it's okay. Um, if you need a second, just let me know, okay? So, if you guys look at this, though, Basically, what we're doing in this case is determining the midpoint. And if we look at this, automatically we can see that the midpoint is a much better approximation than the left or the right. Wouldn't you guys agree? Yeah. Right? So, I mean, the midpoint definitely has its uses um, to be able to work on this. Now, to be able to figure out the midpoint, though, we see we actually now need to figure out what the heck the midpoint is. Right? So, if we're looking at the midpoint between 0 and 1 fourth, that midpoint is going to be. Well, what's the midpoint? What's 1 fourth divided by 2? 1 eighth. 1 eighth. Yeah, you're finding the midpoint for in there, right? And then what would this midpoint be? So if you add 1 fourth, you're looking at 3 eighths. And then if you're adding another 1 fourth, you're looking at 5 eighths. Now, did delta x, is delta x still the same? Yes, the delta x is still the same. So we can factor out the 1 fourth, because the difference between the distance of each of these rectangles is still 1 fourth. But now, the only differences are um, f of uh, our height is now different. So we can factor out the 1 fourth. And now we're dealing with f of 1 eighth plus f of 3 eighths plus f of 5 eighths plus f of 7 eighths. Okay? And again, that factoring works out in this case because, again, we have that uniform uh, factor with that. Done it? Calculate? Oh, wait a minute. No. Okay. I'm just looking at this. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. So let's go and figure this out. Sorry. F of 1 8 is going to be 1 64th. F of 3 8 is going to be 9 64th. F of 5 8 is 25 64th. Plus F of 7 8 is going to be um, 49 8 I'm oh, sorry, 64th. So let's just go and add these up. So we have 10, we have 35, and that's going to be 84. All right? And then 4, four divides into 80. Let's see, what, 20, 21 times? Yes? So therefore, that's 21 over 64. Now, we couldn't really uh, reduce that. You're thinking uh, that's 11 point something or whatever else, but that's going to be relatively close, um, like 11 and a half and so on and so forth. OK? So 21 64, which is, again, if you were to divide that by 2, right? If you divide that by 2, it would be like 10, 10.5, like over 30 seconds, which is between our 7 and our 15 of our other two answers, right? OK. So that is the midpoint approximation method.